Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Kaventical bringing you guys some more 2007 old school RuneScape, and you guys really seem to like my first progress video, so I'm going to be making more in the future, probably once every week, along with all the other uploads that I usually do. So, I've had some big stat and questing changes in the past couple of days, so let's get right into the stats here. As you can see, I got 95 attack, hopefully going to be reaching 99 in the next month, I'd say, or around there. And I got 95 attack by training Slayer. And as you can see, I got fucking 85 Slayer. I've had this goal since I started this account, and it's finally done so that is great i still haven't had an abyssal demon task yet so i haven't gotten a whip yet but uh hopefully in the future i will be able to get one and you know next thing i'm gonna be probably going to the cave krakens but now that i've gotten 85 slayer i'm probably going to be focusing on my other skills but i do want to get a whip drop first so I did get 85 Slayer, and this is fucking great, uh, but that's pretty much it for the stats. Actually, I did get 60 Herbore, but that's nothing too big, to be honest. And uh, uh, here we got the quests, and as you can see, I did do all of the recipe for disaster uh, parts, besides the last part where you get Barrow's Gloves. So I did upgrade the Dragon Gloves, but... I'm still a long way away from them because I need to do a lot of fucking quests. So I finally got Dragon Glove, so I'm somewhat not of a noob, but I still got to make it fully all the way. Um, and that is probably going to take a while because uh, questing isn't really my thing, as you guys know. And I got to get around 50 more quest points, so that's going to suck dick, but maybe we'll get there someday. Uh, the next quests that I plan on doing are probably Lunar Diplomacy. I still haven't gotten to that one just because... When I want to train my crafting, I go looking for uh, green dragon hides to buy, but everybody's buying them, nobody's selling them, so uh, not really able to do that at the moment. Gonna have to wait till the price drops a little and people are selling more of them, so maybe I'll get there someday. Alright, so let's get into the bank here. Um, trying to get to the top here, no spoilers. So, as you can see, I got 12 mil, and that was spent on some stuff. And I did have a 21 mil cash stack from the uh, Bandos Tassus drop that I got. If you haven't checked out my last video, it's in it. And uh, yeah, so I got 21 mil, but then I spent it on a couple things, and now I'm back at 12 mil. But I'm gonna probably be doing a Ceradomen uh, God Wars dungeon series where I try to get to the hilt. Because if you guys don't know already, let me fill you in. I've killed Ceradomen God Wars dungeon boss. Literally uh, over 2,000, somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000 times, and I have never gotten a Ceradorman Hilt or even an Armadil Crossbow. All I've gotten was, I'd say, about 16 Ceraswords. It's been a long time since I've done Ceradorman Gawar's Dungeon, so I don't know exactly how many Ceradorman Swords I've had yet. Um, but yeah, I, I still need to get that hilt, and I still haven't got it, so maybe someday I will get there, and the hilt price did rise back to think what like uh, 37 mil so yeah maybe someday I will be able to get it and I'll probably make a series on it if I got the time so down here we got some potions had to restock my Cerdo and bruise for my bossing and I do have a lot of snapdragons here as you can see uh, just from getting level 60 so not much here new in my jewelries uh, I got another clue scroll and this one as you can see, I have to get into the fishing guild, so I'm gonna have to level my fishing. Then here we go, nothing he knew here or there. Got a lot of rune item drops from getting a lot of steel and iron dragon tasks. I don't know what's up with them, but I fucking get them every other task and it pisses me off. Also from Bano's God Wars Dungeon and just other slayer tasks in general. Here we got the Ivan Staff and an elemental shield from questing. And uh, I did get Chewed Bones from a Mythal Dragon Task. I don't really know how to do the Parasites, but uh, in before Dragon Full Helm. All right, so next tab, we got a ton of Dragon Boots and Granite Mauls just from doing a ton of Slayer. And these prices are really low lately. It kind of sucks that now that I've reached this high of a Slayer level, all of the prices for the high level Slayer items uh, 
have dropped pretty much because so many people just do Slayer in this game. Also, I got a fucking Dragon Medhelm from Necreals. I don't know what's up with that, and I don't know how rare those are, but uh, I don't know how I managed to get that. Yeah, pretty rare, I would suspect. And the last thing I got here is a Godward Shard, God Sword, God, did I say Godward Shard? I meant, I, I meant, I was, I think I was trying to say something like God Wars Shard, but, uh, yeah, God Sword Shard 1, and that was from a Bandos Mass, and I also did manage to get a Carol's Top Drop, uh, from Bear Rose, but that's not it right there, I sold it, and that was for about 1 mil. And I also bought a Zamorakian Hosta as you can see here and I went to kill Mythal Dragons with this and it literally kills them five times faster. It's insane. If you get a lot of Metal Dragon tasks then I would definitely recommend buying this if you have some extra cash. So I might keep it until Corporal Beast comes because I know the price is probably going to rise till then but since I'm probably not going to be doing as much Slayer nowadays, there's not really a use for it. Plus, you can't like level attack with it. It's all shared XP besides the defense. So I'm going to be using my whip so I can get 99 attack instead. So yeah, that's pretty much it with all the new stuff on my account. And uh, for the clips where I got the God Sword Shard, the Carol's Top, and all that stuff, all of that is going to be featured on the first episode of Runecast. So if you haven't... Uh, gotten the information about what it's all about then go check out the video it's on my channel and i did manage to find a co-host for it and his name is katsuo666 you guys should go check out his channel i'll probably leave it in the description he also makes great content uh but he is moving actually at the moment so it might be a little bit till we're able to record the audio for the show but that's pretty much it for this progress video if you did enjoy it then please remember to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below so that way I know that you guys want to see more of these progress videos and it also helps my videos get out there to new viewers. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed. Peace.